Sorry. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <sighs> I'm back to, uh, to work on this. I'm late again, but I was doing something, you know. I was having fun uh, watching a show with my my roomies, you know. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I hope you've all had a nice day or night. And or night. Um, <sighs> my day's been pretty good. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, hey! How's it going? Have you drawn anything today? one of my masterpieces. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, I uh, recently just started doing digital stuff uh, for the longest time on my streams. I just did all this. But uh, now I have a computer, so I don't have to just do that. And I, uh, I spent most of my day trying to figure out how to use the animating program and that's been pretty fun <laughs> it is fun actually because it, it gives me a perspective I haven't had exactly So you just coming in to say hi? Or to see what's up, I guess? <laughs> Sounds fun. I used to do that a lot, but I don't. Oh, I don't really watch streams that often anymore. I was like uh, two years ago, maybe. I was obsessed with them, and I. I it's all I did was just watch streams. Huh. All right, I'll give you a closer look. There you go. Uh, 
Uh, speaking of streams, this was actually made for a art contest that a streamer held. So that was pretty fun. I didn't win. Uh, yeah, don't worry about the bot. They're being weird. I just see them every now and then. Every time I go live. You know, you kind of overloaded my brain with the can thing. Uh, I just started thinking about... <laughs> I just start, started thinking of a scenario where a person just comes prepared with a can uh, for them to throw when something happens. Yeah, he's pretty rad. I'm, uh, God, I've been working on this way too long. It's been, I got asked to make this, like, maybe, God, it feels like five months ago. It was way too long ago. It, it shouldn't have taken me as long as it did. But, yeah, I, I really wanted to finish this. It's supposed to be, uh, some, do you know what VTubers are? I, I feel like you might know. Uh, I, they've been... Well, they blew up a bit more a uh, uh, year ago, but uh, I mean, they, they might still be kind of blowing up, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but basically that's what this is supposed to be. That's why it has, like, the pieces. I thought it would be interesting to have, like, a VTuber model that was hand-drawn. I'm sure somebody's already done it, but... I, I don't know. I thought it'd be neat. And since I took so long to make this first one, I, I want to make another one for him. I'm gonna do that digitally, though, now that I have a computer. Or maybe I won't. Uh, I'll figure that I get to it. Yeah. That's an eraser. In case you were you were wondering, I'm having a bit of trouble with the shirt. I should have used a different brown. This one's a little too red, I think. At least you can kind of see the uh, the folds in the shirt. At least you know. I think I should. Like, uh, maybe on this part. Oh, also... Hmm? Uh, 
Uh, do you know who White Bat is? White Bat Audio? That's the music I'm playing right now. I keep his name up here since I play his I play his music on my streams every time. After I started, uh, started coloring it with colored pencils, I started to think that maybe I should have done markers, but I really like the look you get from colored pencils, specifically like the, um, it's like a very 70s poster look, if that makes any sense. Oh, mostly, uh, I don't know, I just draw whatever. Once a moon I do a Sonic drawing. There's Shadow, uh, squeezing Sonic. like drawing mostly is uh, monsters. I really like drawing monster stuff. That's fun. And for a while, uh, I was drawing concepts for a game I want to make. I have a whole stack of uh, monster designs in this. Some of them I might go back and redo later. I have a lot of them. I have this guy. Uh, I'm pretty happy about this design. It's pretty good. Yeah, but I gotta figure out how to use uh, game engine stuff first. I actually found this channel, apparently, that gives... I guess... I don't want to... I don't know if I call them tutorials. I haven't even seen any of the videos yet. But apparently he goes into a lot of detail of how to use... I think... How to use... Uh, what was it again? I completely forgot what it was called. Unity. Uh, it shows you how to make games using Unity. 
Uh, pe uh, apparently, it's helped like quite a few people. Like the instant I found, like I found two videos in a row that mentioned this guy as a reference to how they learned how to make games. I completely forgot his name though. It might still be on my phone. Let me go check real quick. It was. Let me see. Yeah, okay, it's this guy. Uh, his, he's called Brackies. His channel is called Brackies, anyway. And he made 461 videos. I, I don't know if they're all Unity tutorials, but there's definitely a lot. I did. <laughs> I'm assuming you did. I, I think that's how that works, right? Uh, the popcorn thing, uh, I mean. Anyway. <sighs> so, you said you do rendering, right? What kind of renders uh, do you work on usually? Honestly, I, I've wanted to, I've really wanted to get into, I feel like I'm saying that wrong, I don't know why, that sounds very illiterate. But I've wanted to get into 3D modeling for a while. And I can now that I have a computer, so whenever I get the chance that'll be cool.
Ooh. Yeah, I know what you mean with the coloring thing, though. That's why I have so many cards of just like. So many cards of me just like drawing and speeding through stuff. Pretty much. Because I really like just getting the idea out of my head, you know? I do like coloring it too, but coloring it takes a really long time. So I don't do it that often. I just try to move on to the next thing. Art fight. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Is that a, a new thing people have been doing? Or is it a lot older than I think? Oh, really? Does it last like a, a certain amount of time? Or... <laughs> that sounds fun. What's the idea with uh, Art Fight? Is it just, like, anything? I'm sure there are, like, some restrictions, but aside from that, or do they usually pick themes for it? Wither versus Bloom. That sounds cool. Ah, oh, does that mean like, uh, the theme Wither versus Bloom? Can you take that into any interpretation you want, or is there a certain way you have to do that? Fun. 
that means you're uh, drawing someone else's character, right? What kind of character is it? Oh, I see. Scruffy Corvid Man. Corvid. That's an interesting term. Oh, I see. I see. Ah. Oh. They seem to be a little bit like Blue Jays. Kind of. They're very pretty. Uh, I just shot, saw it on my screen. I, I guess it wasn't uh, wasn't that clear. I do see one that kind of looks like a raven, actually. Its feathers are black. Very neat birds. There he is. Yeah. I thought it'd be interesting to have, like, uh... To have his eyes kind of look like... I 
I was thinking like uh, the fast forward. Uh, what's the word? Fast forward symbols you'd see on a TV. Or like the play and pause button. That's cool to hear. You know what, Auntie? He kind of does, doesn't he? I'll make sure to tell Mego that next time I see him. So how's your day been, Auntie? Oh, really? Yeah, it was fun uh, getting better at coloring. Just uh, learning new tricks I didn't know before. Something interesting, actually, that I learned, it's not too recently now, but it was pretty recent. Was how you're actually supposed to use color pencils? I've been using them wrong this whole time. Not this whole time anymore, but for the longest time I used them wrong. Because I thought they worked like normal pencils, right? But no, you're supposed to press down really hard with colored pencils to use them correctly. Wait, what do you mean left-handed moment? But, but I do. <laughs> anyway. So what was iffy about your day, Auntie? Anything weird happen? Huh? What's that? There it is. Yeah, I hear that. It was also really fun getting to practice with color pencils and seeing how uh, you're supposed to sort of mix the colors with each other. That sounds fun. What are you gonna watch, Auntie? Oh, also, have you drawn anything today? Uh, 
Oh, dude, I hear that. Oh, hey, for hair, you know what you should get? Uh, one of these. Just the, yep, yeah, this is the good one. It's a whiteout pin. They're really good. Have you seen uh, Rise of the Shield Hero yet? It, it's Rise, right? I don't remember. Dude, I don't know why, but around that time when Shield Hero came out, so many other shows had Rise in their name. Movies too, I think, and I have no idea why. It's so weird. Huh, okay. I'll tell you now. Uh, it's alright. The first two episodes are really good, and the rest is just kind of okay. So I'd recommend, like, the first bit of the story, but... I, uh, I wouldn't blame you if you stopped watching halfway. <laughs> oh. Uh, you know what? It's fine, AC. Go ahead. Don't even worry about it. Have you, uh, seen Shield Hero, Pertany? 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 I'm not sure how you would, uh, pronounce it. I wouldn't exactly not recommend it, but I also wouldn't push it too hard. I think uh, the further I got into the show, I actually started to hate watch it. <laughs> uh, I was actually just very disappointed. Because I really enjoyed my... Uh, uh, the first bit that I watched. But the further it went on, I kind of felt like a lot of the potential it had just got wasted. And it just became generic and boring. When it really didn't have to be. Because it had something. It really did. And it just threw it all away. To just be another cookie cutter show.
JJK. That sounds familiar. I think I know what that is. Is that like the... The one with like the really bright neon colors? about Jujutsu Kaisen? Oh, my bad. Okay, I thought you were talking about this other show. <laughs> yeah, I like Jujutsu Kaisen. That's a really good one. I love Toto. He's great. pretty good. It's a good show. Honestly, though, I feel like uh, after Toto left, I just couldn't watch it anymore. I was like, <laughs> oh, the show's not as good now. <laughs> yeah, I need to, I guess I need to finish the first season for when the next one comes out. If I plan on watching it, anyway. Yeah, Gojo's pretty cool. Look, I made a very flat sword. It's very wide. Wouldn't it be cool if they made swords that you could just like, that were super wavy? They'd be terrible, but it'd be, I don't know, kind of fun. I mean, they did make sword belts, but those, uh, those don't really count.
Because it make the, uh, it make that noise, you know the noise where you're like, uh, flapping a big sheet of metal, you know what I mean? That noise. Now it's an elephant. Yeah, those noises. I gave him a body. Oh, I lost my pins for a sec. That sounds pretty awesome, honestly. Mm. I'm gonna grab my sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sandwich moment. I mean a, uh, I mean a burger with a, uh, with onion rings and barbecue sauce on it. It's a tiny burger. It's very small. It's like that.
Nice, nice. All right, you're doing, uh, you're doing it digitally, right? So you don't even need white up pins. <laughs> I need to work on a character with hair. I haven't gotten to do that yet. Because the character I've been drawing on my computer doesn't have any hair. He's a... it's just a bald man. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty pog. Honestly, I wish I didn't add any more. <laughs> I guess overall, I feel pretty good about uh, where I am in art, I think. Mostly just, there are a few things that I come across every now and then that are kind of new to me. Like uh, that picture I showed earlier where the steam was coming off that guy's head. I forgot to like add shadows to it, so it looks, the steam looks a little flat. And it's also like kind of stiff. I don't. I haven't gotten to do steam that much, so I'm not that good at it yet. And also, there's clothing, cloth uh, looks. I gotta get better at that too.
I'm hoping that, uh, since his pants are kind of dark, that'll work to my advantage. So it'll make it a little hard to see some of the, some of the extra lines that I should definitely cut out. Well, I'll see when I get to it. Yeah, doing Steam, honestly, is a lot harder than I thought it'd be. I had a sort of... I sort of had an idea in my head of how to do it. But as I was drawing it, I kind of just wanted to go with the flow of it. And I guess that's sort of what got in my way. I should have just done it how I thought it would look, you know? Which it, it would have been more like, more plume-like. And I would have added shadows to it and things like that. Overall, though, I'm pretty happy with how the how the image turned out. I don't have too many complaints about it. I've been drawing... Well... Okay. For about, maybe... Six years now? I, I think I've been drawing for six years, but uh, I only started drawing consistently mm, about a year ago. I only started drawing consistently about a year ago, and honestly, I still kind of draw consistently uh, now, yeah. The reason I started was because I wanted to do a challenge where I draw every day. And I did that for the last uh, 365 days. I finished a couple... I finished like a week ago, I think. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. About a week ago. It was, it was pretty fun. I really enjoyed doing it. Uh, that's where all of these came from. I, I, for the last, like, five or seven days, for the very last bit of my, uh, challenge, I wanted to try working on the game that I want to make. And I'd ended off with that little project, I guess. I still have a lot to work on, though, for that. I, I don't know why I put my tablet up there. <laughs> I'm using this to read my chat. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I used to... Before I did the challenge, I used to just, like, draw every month or two months. I... I wouldn't draw that often. And my art would, would gradually get better, but it wasn't that great, honestly. I'm really happy I started, because I... Yeah, I'm pretty happy where I am now. And it was really fun. Now I just like to draw every day, and I, uh, I like to stream now. Streaming's really fun. Yeah, the weird thing about me with fan art though, I like drawing fan art, but for some reason I can't uh, stick to it. Not as much as I could originally. Aside from that, but that was made for like a challenge. So, 
or event competition. I don't know. But just for the stuff that was kind of just for me, yeah, I, I didn't really uh, follow through, I guess, with a lot of it. There's actually one that I need to go back in here and finish. I even told the person I was drawing it for, well, I didn't tell them that I was gonna do it, but... I asked them, like, how I can give them the... give it to them. And they told me I can put it on their Discord. And then I just sort of, uh... left and haven't finished the art or anything. I think that was actually the last one of their streams I watched, too. That was a while ago. Yeah, I think I'm gonna finish that sometime. Because I, I really want to. It was fun. I can show you what I have so far of it. <clears throat> it was, uh... Let me see if I can find it. It was for another streamer. Her name is Carmelia. She's a very lovely person. Uh, she was playing RuneScape, I think. And uh, something... I don't remember what she was talking about. She was talking about a dog that she saw on there. So I thought, hey, I'll draw her in her wizard outfit in RuneScape and... Uh, put a dog next to her. Right, I think... Oh, I remember now, because there's a dead chicken here. She was killing chickens to uh, get bones for the dog, because she wanted to try and tame a dog like in Minecraft. Fictions, what kind of fan fictions do you usually read? Unbelievable, you can still see the stains uh, from my pencil. It's funny how, like, everything else seems to fade away, but that's clear as it ever was. That's just how it be, I guess.
Dude, I know what you mean. I got like... <laughs> I got obsessed with like Sonic fan fictions for a while. It... The most interesting part of it for me was just... Because whenever somebody writes something, it's something coming from their mind. So it's a genuine part of themselves that they're putting into that story. It has to be something from themselves. You can't just like... Because it's from your head, you know? You can write something random, but subconsciously it's still going to be something from you. And I just loved reading uh, weird fan fictions for that reason. Just to see the... Like... Just to see these, like, bizarre minds on paper. <sighs> yeah, I know what you mean. You know, I have a lot of stories that I want to write, but it's like, oh god, I don't feel like it, you know what I mean? It's so much work, it's so much work to write. Uh, you, you have to sit down and just do it. <laughs> I don't know why, my brain just won't let me have the patience for it. Drawing's way uh, more therapeutic for me. That's why... Honestly, I, uh, whenever I think of a new story, I try doing comic panels for it because it's way easier for me to just do illustrations of it than to write it out. I don't know why, it just is. It feels weird to like write out an action that a character is taking when I'd rather just draw it. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, speaking of that, what do you think of uh, channels that do Minecraft story, uh, Minecraft stories? I've seen a couple of them. And there was one that I actually thought was kind of interesting. Well, I thought they were all kind of interesting, but for different reasons. <laughs> some of them roleplay, but some of them like actual genuine stories. Like, uh... There's this one channel. Uh, that I found called Afmau, and she would write, uh, like, episodes. She would make episodes using Minecraft. And over time, uh, as her series went on, the quality would get better and better. And it actually had, like, uh, really... They were really good productions, honestly. Yeah. 
I don't know if she's made any statements about it, but she hasn't done any stories in quite a while. Mostly just been doing the, uh, the daily post thing, which is fine I have for, like, content creation and stuff. You know? It's valid. Yeah, I still... I... I might actually go back and uh, watch my street. I never finished that one. I hardly even started. I mostly watched the, uh, the Phoenix Drop series. The, uh, I watched the high school one, then I watched the college one. But I also already knew the characters before watching those. So it was really funny. So I think I kind of got the same impressions a lot of people did when they first saw those after watching my street. Because it's like... Uh... Oh god, I forgot some of the names. Like when they see, uh... Garant? Is that his name? Garant? For the first time in the prequels, they're like... That's not Garant. <laughs> he doesn't sound stupid. Oh, Gareth! Yeah, Gareth. God, I can't believe I forgot that. Yeah, I love Gareth. He's a good, uh, he's a really good character, honestly. I imagine for a while, uh... I imagine for a while she was taking a break from writing, and maybe uh, working on productions behind the scenes, but I don't know. Because she was doing, uh, was it My, My Demons or something? I forgot what that series was called. But after she put out the first season, she started taking a huge break from it and started doing the content she's doing now. And I figured eventually she'd come back with a uh, with season two, but I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy how long ago it was when I uh, found that channel. <sighs> I also, uh, there was this other Minecraft channel. Their role plays were a bit different. They weren't necessarily, they were making stories, but it was like, uh, they were kind of making lore stories. Like, uh, based on pre-existing things. I completely forgot what his name was, though. Uh, his icon and his character are, are a camera. They're a camera head with hair. Yeah, but when I watch, when I watched his stuff at the time, it was, that was at the time where I was like, uh, I was like, uh, really wanting to find out about creepypastas and things like that. And SCPs and 
just like lore stuff, I liked uh, seeing more stuff in horror games and horror content. And that guy had a lot of it. I don't know how much of it was like that accurate though, but he had a lot. Oh yeah, he also did Undertale stuff. Stood out a little bit from the rest of his um, stories. I wasn't too sure what to think uh, about his channel. I always thought there was like a tone of satire to it because of the way he spoke. How it almost felt like he was intentionally like being bad at acting, you know what I mean? Every video, uh, also, now that I think about it, they always had like, they had like a checklist of things that they had to do. In some, uh, in some videos. It was really funny. Oh, but I think that's really uh, what got me into fan fictions and fan comics and things like that, was uh, Undertale, Undertale stuff. Because so many fan comics uh, spawned from Undertale. People went crazy over that. And I kind of, like, I understood, like, how other people felt, like, I'm sure the people just wanted more story-wise. Because it was such an interesting world that was uh, so encased into the, the small space, which is kind of the point, but, you know. It was also, uh, that's also when I discovered, uh, fan comic acting, uh, voice acting. And I would find so many different people voice acting different comics or the same comics. And it was really funny because there were, like, kids doing it too. <laughs> so in some comics you just hear kids... Like, when a character's supposed to scream, you'd hear a character, uh, you'd hear one of the, the voice actors do the scream, but it's like the ah, scream they do because they don't want to wake their parents up. It's so awesome. Yeah, I've never, uh, seen any My Hero fanfics. I imagine they would be good, though. I'm sure there are a lot of fans that have interesting takes on that story. Yeah, it was really sad when Pakiko died, though. Oh yeah, all of, uh, pretty much all of White Bat's songs I, I really like. They're pretty good. I have a couple favorites, though. Dude, I love the angsty shit. It's so good.
That sounds awesome. That's uh, one reason why I really love Sonic fan fictions, because they have the most angst out of any. Those uh, fan fictions have the most angst out of any fandom I've seen. Maybe more than Undertale. Undertale can get pretty angsty though. Dude, isn't it crazy how far, like, f fandoms can go? There, like, the end, specifically the Undertale fandom, there have been fan songs, I think, made for, uh, fan comics. Like, that, like, that whole thing just took, just took on a life of its own. And just became a huge entity. I wouldn't be surprised if people are still making uh, new versions of Sans. There's like, last I checked, there was like 50 different versions of him. <laughs> Oh yeah, but if you do get into the Sonic stuff, be prepared. Uh, there's a lot of incels. It is really funny though, because the incel nature of the writers transfers over to their insert character, being Sonic usually, so heavily. And it's so funny to see like incel Sonic in these stories. It's so funny. You know, I'm not actually sure if I'm allowed to say that word on Twitch. For very specific reasons. Oh well. I'm sure it'll be fine. Worst thing that'll happen is I'll get banned for life. I don't know why, when you said, uh, when you wrote blue screen, blue screen, it made me, uh, think of the Sonic Sat AM theme song. I don't know if you, you might know what that is. Yeah, uh, I have 70 alternatives for when that happens. Uh, 
Uh, it's the one with, uh, when they still had Robotnik. You know, before he was Eggman, he was Robotnik. Oh, no, wait, no, uh... Uh, Robotnik's name was an American name, actually. He always... He, I think he always was Eggman. But, um... Uh, Sega of America thought Robotnik would be, have a... a uh, better vibe to it. Which, it absolutely did. And it definitely worked for the 90s. And his design in the show is really good. I, I like him a lot. His voice actor also is really good. <laughs> I think overall, uh, Eggman's had a lot of really good voice actors, except for Sonic Underground. Somehow that show just can't get anything right, except for its theme song. That's pretty all right. It's a pretty good theme song. Hell yeah, it does. <sighs> yeah, its theme song was almost as good as uh, all of the other songs in that show. That took up 30 minutes. Three minutes of each episode. Actually, did... I don't remember. Did they have like two songs every episode or was it just one song? I don't know because... I actually, uh, one day I just decided to watch all of Sonic Underground, um, on YouTube, of course, because, uh, I didn't really have another way of doing it. I couldn't find it anywhere else. But I think they cut all the songs out of the episodes. Either that or I just skipped them. I think I skipped them because I didn't want to sit through that. And it was interesting to see that the show just got cancelled. And it was, like, really far from a resolution. So they did... Uh, they did about like 50 episodes or 52 episodes, but that also means that they had at least 52 songs from that show. That's a, that's a lot of Oracle singing. It's a lot. Well, that budget went somewhere. Definitely not to the animation. Hmm. 
You know, I'd actually like to recommend some fan fictions, but I, I can't remember any. Well, I can't remember all the ones I've seen. I can only remember Sally Dies, I'm not sure if that's the actual name of it, I forgot. But, in case the title didn't give it away, Sally Dies in the beginning of it. And there's also, I think it's called Sonic High School. You might have heard about that one. Uh, a couple of YouTubers did vi uh, videos on that one. And I've seen pretty much the entirety of that fanfiction. Obviously it's not good. But it's an uh, interesting ride. To say the least. You're honestly not missing much though if you just stop after the first the first chapter. I think the first person I saw covering it, they stopped at the first chapter and that was definitely the right move to make. I actually, I haven't looked at fanfictions in a long time. I completely forgot the thing I used. Mm, I think it was just called fanfiction.net. .net or .com? Let me see. I'll look before, uh, so you don't have to. Uh, fan... Uh, yep, fanfiction.net is an auto automated fanfiction archive site that was founded on October 15th, 19... 1998. Wow. It's a long time ago. Fanfictions are that old, aren't they? Oh, but I don't know if either of the ones I mentioned are on this one. Let's see. Yeah, I can't seem to find it so far. I'm probably not looking right though. I, I haven't used this site in a while.
What if I just type in... Search... Okay. Movie Sonic meets Movie Sonic. What? A Movie Sonic crossover. What does that even mean? It's the same Sonic. That doesn't make any sense. While out for one, one night, Sonic has an encounter with himself. Okay, I'm not gonna read any more of that. <laughs> Yeah, it says crossover, but for some reason, it's just the same version of himself, so it's not a crossover. Well, different versions of the character, or different characters from different franchises, different stories, whatever, you know. Yeah, I don't get it. I, I don't know why somebody would write that. Sounds interesting though, I think I'm gonna read that, that later. That's gonna take up my night, I think. I was thinking like, two, well technically three, Sonic movies exist if you count OVA as a movie. But yeah, the two newest Sonic movies that have come out, if you count those as like separate characters, which I do not at all, but yeah. You I mean, I'm very interested by stuff like that. I, I love to get into the heads of these writers who just, like... It's one thing to write a weird and, and or cringy story. But to be confident enough in it that you want to post it on the internet is very fascinating to me. And I just have to see it. If you're so confident to post it, it must be like... I want to see what you might have seen in your own story. You know? Maybe I'll find something there. It gives me a, it gives me a sort of peek into this person's character. Because if they're proud of that story, then that means, like, that says a lot about them as a person. The kind of stories that they like. see actually that other Minecraft you uh, Minecraft story guy I mentioned I want to see if I can find him real quick I it honestly shouldn't be that hard uh, I'm doing
Apparently, Undertale Minecraft songs are a thing. I had no idea. Oh, yeah, this guy just showed up immediately. It's this dude. Uh, Newscape Pro. That's not right. Minecraft Undertale Roleplay. Hold on. What's this about? These videos are new. Something's a little off about that. Newscape Pro Undertale Roleplay. That's a different channel. Hmm, let me see. What happened to all of his videos? Oh, it's a Fortnite channel? Makes sense. Dang, this guy... I, I guess all of his videos are gone. He used to have like a million different, uh, different videos doing Minecraft role plays. Oh wait, I found one. Uh, an SCP video. Nice. channels this guy has. It seems like I have to... I have to specifically type in, like, what the content is. <laughs> but I guess this guy has a ton of channels. Sounds really interesting. Like, uh... I think I know what you mean. I think I've seen that trick done before uh, on somebody else's art.
That's awesome. Clothes. Yeah, good luck with that. Honestly, it's probably not that hard. I'm just bad at, at uh, doing clothing. I'm gonna go grab some water real quick. I'll be right back. to all of my uh, paper, you know, very good spot for that.
<laughs> well, I appreciate that. Hmm. This is supposed to be the side of his head. Once I give it to Mego for him to do whatever he's going to do with it, I wanted to have this here so he can turn his head, you know? I, uh, I hope it works well. I'm also uh, hoping the... This is supposed to be part of his jacket. This is the part that goes down to his... Down to his legs. Down to his feet, I mean. He has, like, one of those uh, big coats. And I wanted to put these on separately, so I could have them, like, what, be wavy.
You know, it's funny you say that, because I actually thought my, uh, water was actually, uh, lower than it should have been, and I couldn't remember if I actually drank out of it or not. Yeah, I, I really like this one. It's a good song.
Oh, it's 12 a.m. for you? It's, uh, 2.14 for me. <laughs> oh, I started very late. I'm having fun, though.
There we go. Yeah, I haven't streamed this late in a long time. Thankfully, it's my day off tomorrow. I used to, for quite a while, I uh, I did eight-hour streams. It was pretty nice. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I lost a lot of my day, but I, I genuinely liked doing eight-hour streams. It was very fun. That sounds fun.
What kind of pop tart did you uh, did you grab? I haven't eaten pop tarts in a long time. They always kind of made me feel sick. I think my favorite one, uh, my favorite ones were the cinnamon ones. I used to eat those all the time. Yeah. They always made me feel sick though, like, uh, I could never eat the second one. I mean, I did always eat the second one, but it was the second one that made me feel sick. There, wa uh, there was a brown sugar coffee flavor.
Yeah. I, I guess when I was younger, I always had just the mentality to eat everything that I have. I, I don't know why. <sighs> I'm sure, honestly, I'm sure there is somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised. I can imagine that's like somewhere in Europe or something. Streaming for two and a half hours now. That's cool. from uh, my final day stream, the final day of my challenge. Aside from that, this is probably the longest stream I've done in a while. Yeah, that other stream though I did for like about six hours. It was pretty good. It's a good six hour stream.
Yeah, the reason uh, that stream was six hours long uh, is because, well, it ended up being six hours long. I figured it'd be shorter. Well, I assumed, initially I assumed it would be like six or eight hours, but then uh, I assumed as I was going that it would have been shorter because I felt like I was going through it pretty fast, but then it just ended up being six hours. But the reason I needed uh, it to be six hours is because I was showing off all the art that I did over the over the over the year, and it was a lot. It was a lot of art that warranted six hours. But I uh. I did a few more drawings for the stream and then I called it. It was pretty fun. It was a good stream. It was a good year. I think it's getting there. Might be about time for me to go off. Because it is extremely late for me now. It's uh... 239. Very nice. Yeah. It was, uh... Yeah, I'm in a I'm in a wormhole right now. Anyway. It was nice getting to talk to you. Uh Pertani. Pertani. It was very nice getting to talk to you. And, uh, 
It was very nice getting to meet someone, uh, someone else who had an interest in fan fictions. And now I have another fan fiction that I get to read later. That's gonna, that's gonna be fun. You too. Good night. See you later. Hmm. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Shut up, Nightbot. I'm timing you out. Are you still there, or did you fall asleep? <sighs> Probably asleep. That's cool. Anyway, anyone, to, uh, anyone who's watching the VOD later, and if you've made it to this point, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a nice day, or night, whichever, and I'll be here tomorrow, probably. Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll be here tomorrow, why not? Goodbye.